one and two and three and four. Get, get them sit-ups right in. Tuck, tuck your tummy tight and do, do your crunches like this. Give head stop. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sitting here because I wanted to just have a chat. I actually did this whole chat like 30 minutes ago and realized that I wasn't recording. And so, <sighs> unfortunate, but it is what it is and we are here and I'm going to roll back what I think I said before. Hopefully I get it all in. Um, if not, um, yeah, we can, you can ask questions and all that good stuff. But anyways, my name is Wendy. This is Wendy with the eye. And on this channel, I'm showing you guys what I have my eye on in beauty, fashion, lifestyle, home decor, weight loss, which what we're going to talk about today. Um, and pretty much anything else that I have an interest in interest in. So if you guys are interested in any of that um, or you think that, you know, it's intriguing to you and you might want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe. Hit the um, the bell notification because I do um, I upload every Sunday like clockwork, but I am starting to upload on Wednesdays now as well. So, yeah, so just hit the notification bell and you won't ever miss a video. So, yeah. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so this video coming to you fresh faced, I'm actually getting ready to go um, work out at a new gym called Hotworks. Um, well, it's new to me and um, I really actually I'm enjoying it. So I'm, I like working out in heat. Um, you guys know that I do hot yoga. Um, excuse me. I do hot yoga and um, hot works is similar to that. So like they have like little pods and you can do yoga Pilates. They have bikes in, in a pod. They have rows in a pod. <coughs> and so like you can um, and it's um, a lot less time um, to work out. So like I go to hot yoga and I'm in an hour long class. Well, when I go to hot works and I do like the row and the bike, that's 30 minutes because it's 15 minutes each like interval training, basically high intent, high intensity interval training basically is what it is. And so you don't have to do it for as long, which I think is what I like about it. But anyways, this is not <laughs> this is not a promo for hot works. I'm, you know, just telling you guys what I'm about to go do. But this video is about um, Obera. So if you didn't know, I actually um, went through the procedure and I got the Obera gastric balloon in November of 2021, and it was taken out in May of 2022. So what is Obera? So Obera is um, basically a temporary solution to weight loss. So basically, um, you're putting a balloon in your stomach through your mouth. Your doctor is doing this, <laughs> not you, <laughs> but your doctor is doing this. And it goes into your balloon, it stay, or goes into your stomach, it stays in your stomach for six months, and then they take it out. So you know how a lot of people talk about like the gastric sleeve and BSG? Those are more um, evasive. I was going to say permanent, but it's not permanent. It's a more evasive. So they go in and they actually mess with organs. But with a gastric balloon, they are not. They just are putting a foreign object, object in your body and then taking it out. So, <clears throat> so I did that. So I think there are a few questions and I don't have anything uh, planned. I just kind of wanted to go off the rip. And then um, if anybody had any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them, promise, because I definitely want to help anyone who has any questions around this subject, if I can. Um, so some of the questions that I think that maybe, um, anyone would have for me or anyone that had, has had this procedure is first, is it worth it? Um, so I, I'm going to tell you in a minute why that question gives me pause, but I'm going to answer it like this. So I think that there are, um, there are, so, Okay. Let's go both ways, right? So I think it would be worth it if you are someone that is 
committed to making a lifestyle change and you know that like you just need kind of like a kickstart, right? You just need a kickstart to that. And then like you are focused, you are committed, you are ready to like hit the ground running. I don't think it's worth it if you are someone that's like, oh, I need to lose like 10 or 15 pounds and I'm really not, you know, focused on like making a lifestyle change. I don't want to do nothing different. I just want to lose some weight. That this is not for you. Okay. So in saying all of that, for me, specifically for me, I believe it was worth it. Um, I believe it was worth it because I was able to like, you know, I was able to get that kickstart that I needed. I was able to um, lose some weight and I was also able to kind of figure out that it's not just about like the physical, the working out, and it's not just about the food for me. For me, it is more about the mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects of my life that um, that that has affected me as far as my weight is concerned. And so I feel like I got a really big eye opener in that aspect of my life with the balloon that I so much appreciate. Now, um, the second question <laughs> that I think somebody would have specifically for someone who has gone through this process is, so what were your results? <laughs> okay, so this is where the is it worth it answer comes in, right? Um, when I began this journey, I, w I weighed 242. My lowest weight um, with Obera was 219. Um, so that's a total of what, 20, 23 pounds. So I lost a total of 23 pounds on Obera gastro balloon. Um, I do not weigh 219 pounds now. Um, I actually, and I definitely can see it. I, I look heavier now than I did when I first did that video, which this is the first video. I don't know. I'm going to put it somewhere over here, but go and check that out video out. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, so um, I think they're okay. So, oh gosh, I can't even like talk. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so no, I am not 219 pounds now. I am heavier than that now. Um, there were a few factors involved in that. Um, it's been what, like two months since the balloon has been out. And in that time I have had three things happen. So the first thing is, um, started eating a lot more for whatever reason, even when the balloon was in like the month, that last month that it was in, like I just started eating more and I'm not really honestly sure why. Um, the second thing, oh, four, this four things. Um, so eating more. The second thing that happened to me was I had a groin pool, a pretty substantial groin pool that, um, affected the way I worked out. Um, basically, I, I was unable to do a lot of things that I normally do as far as working out. The third thing that happened to me was that I got the vid. Um, and when you can't breathe, <laughs> you really can't work out. And so, and I have continually been kind of dealing with post, um, what do they call it? Long, long vid, long vid, um, and yeah, continuing to work through all of that. The fourth and final, and I think the most major thing that happened to me during the whole during this whole timing time frame is that I stopped going to therapy. I stopped going to therapy, and it it fully validated, double stamped. I already knew this, but it double stamped to me that. There is a correlation for me when I am taking care of my mental and emotional health and my weight and my weight loss and everything's centered around that. And so shame on me for letting that slide. Unfortunately, um, I did, and I'm not really honestly sure why, but we got it back on the calendar going back to therapy next week. Super excited about it. I started, you know, being more mindful about 
my food choices and I'm also able to get back to working out close to normal again. And so, um, yeah. So I, I feel like we're kind of back on track here. But I will tell you that I did gain back 15 pounds. Lord have mercy, insane. 15 pounds of the 23 pounds that I gained, that I lost. And so not super excited about that. I did lose three pounds last week. So I'm, I'm excited to be back on track. Um, Yeah, excited to be back on track. And so hopefully I can continue and kind of get back to where I was and even, you know, keep pushing forward on there. So I know what to do. I just got to do it. But yeah, so I think those are the two biggest questions that I think people would would ask me um, or ask anyone that has gone through this process. Um, oh, the third question is probably, would I do it again? Absolutely not. I would not do this again. Now, let me let me preface. Let me say, now that I have done it, I would not do it again. But I would always be curious about what I could do with it if I had never done it. So I like if I had never done it before and I'm like, uh, you know, like, should I, should I? I would totally do it again. But now that I've done it, I would not do it again. I just wouldn't. Um, I would recommend it for those who are like on the fence about doing something evasive and like, some, like just, you know, if they were thinking about doing like the gastric sleeve or, you know, something more evasive, like internal organ type deal and are unsure about it. Um, I think this is a good alternative for that. Um, but you have to know that it's like, it's coming out in six months. Like you, you really got to focus on like your new lifestyle, your new regiment, and just understand that like your stomach's going to go back to the way it was after that balloon comes out. <clears throat> now with like VSG and the gastric sleeve, your stomach can revert back to its original form, like its original size, right? Um, if you're not like doing the right things. So um, it's not, that is not a permanent fix. That is just, it's just more evasive. So, so that's why I would recommend it to those who are like on the fence about it. But yeah, so I think I wanted to just come on and like wrap up my little two part series on the obergastric balloon. And if you guys have any additional questions, please leave the comment down below. I promise I will get to it because I want to be a help to anyone who is thinking about doing something like this. Um, if you just need like directions to some information, um, because I'm not the end all be all um, to this. I'm just sharing my experience. I'm not a doctor. So please don't like take what I'm saying is gold. Um, it's just this is what my experience has been with the balloon. So. Um, I will say that I have some like news coming up that I'm super excited to share and I want to take you guys on the journey with me. And so it's kind of like the next steps, next phases of my weight loss, you know, journey kind of deal. And so, um, so yeah, so I'm excited to share that. So just, um, like I said earlier, subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you will be able to know when I put that video out and you can see everything that I'm talking about, because I do, I feel like I want to take you guys along with, with my process. So, so yeah. So I think that's all I have. Thank you for watching, even though I'm not made up, I'm fresh faced, ready to hit the gym, hit, <clears throat> hit the hot works heat and get this weight off. Again, fun times. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.